Good day, everyone and welcome back to our YouTube news channel. Today, we have some intriguing developments surrounding former President Donald Trump's legal challenges. Months after facing a barrage of 91 state and federal charges, it seems that the tides might be turning. In a recent report by Newsweek on Monday, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, a Republican, expressed deep concerns over allegations of professional improprieties involving Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. Interestingly, Kemp had previously denounced efforts by Republican legislators to target Willis after she charged Trump. However, in a surprising twist, Kemp has now joined the chorus of Republicans criticizing Willis. This shift comes after one of the defendants in the case accused her of having an improper relationship with Nathan Wade, a prosecutor she hired for the Trump case. Newsweek further reported that Willis offers plans to address these allegations in a future court filing. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee has indicated that he is awaiting a response from Willis' office before scheduling a hearing date to address these concerns. Kemp emphasized the importance of a swift resolution, stating, These allegations are deeply troubling, and evidence should be presented quickly for Judge McAfee to rule and the public to have confidence in this trial moving forward, as reported by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Adding to the complexity of the situation, recent court documents reveal that Nathan Wade billed Willis' department for meetings with officials from the Biden White House, raising questions about the administration's potential involvement in the case. Just the News reported that this revelation follows criticism aimed at Wade and Willis, accusing them of engaging in a romantic relationship while her office paid him over $650,000 in legal fees since January 2022. According to the outlet, recent reports reveal that the Biden White House played a role in facilitating special access for the FBI to examine 15 boxes of Trump's presidential documents that he had returned to the National Archives. In a new court filing related to the Georgia case against Michael Roman, a Trump co-defendant, it is disclosed that the special prosecutor, Nathan Wade, had at least one meeting with Biden's White House counsel. Wade noted that this meeting occurred during his travel to Athens, Georgia, on May 23, 2022, as indicated in an invoice submitted to the DA's office. The invoice details the purposes, travel to Athens, conference with White House counsel, and Wade billed the DA's office $2,000 for the trip. Notably, the court documents also reveal another meeting with White House staff on November 18, 2022. This meeting seemingly took place in Washington, D.C., but there is no corresponding entry in the White House visitor logs indicating Wade's presence. The invoice for this meeting reads, interview with D.C., White House, and, like the previous instance, Wade charged $2,000 for this encounter. Worth mentioning is that the November 2022 meeting occurred just three days after Donald Trump formally announced his candidacy for the 2024 GOP presidential nomination at Mar-a-Lago, as reported by Just the News. In another twist to the story, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich claimed in August that he had learned from a very reliable source that someone in Washington instructed Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis to indict Trump on a late Monday evening rather than the following day when the grand jury returned. This saga continues to unravel, and we will stay vigilant to bring you the latest updates as they unfold. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share for comprehensive coverage. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll be back with more soon. Stay informed.